Thanks to you, we've gained control of the factory, but... Don't think we can hold it forever. Can you go and check the factory for me? Um... Yeah, sure, if you want me to. I guess. This is strange. Our watches are missing. Um... What do you mean by we're missing something? Whoa! <laughs> You've been doing well. My name is Phantom. One of the four guardians of Master X. Every generation has its legend, however. A lost legend should remain lost. Allow me to show you why. Okay, you weeb. Huh. Ow! Okay, this is gonna be a bit tricky. Okay, um... What the... Okay, okay. Okay, I get this guy's stick now. I know his stick. I know his- I know his stuff. Okay. Oh god, it's barely been two minutes. Oh, oh shit. Okay, let's get through this. I know I could beat you, dude. Oh, <laughs> I was doing so well that time. Fuck! <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh, shit. <laughs> I almost got him. Almost got him. I know I can get him. I know I can get him. I know I can get this guy. This is actually the generally the actual. Act, this feels like a Mega Man boss properly, because the other couple other couple bosses felt like um they were easily cheesable or they just took forever. This one feels like they had some proper thought put into it, whereas like you know the fast attacks, pinpoint timing. Yeah, this feels like a boss they genuinely probably like probably had a lot of fun designing. Ah! Oh, that's stupid. So if you mistime it... Oh man, that homing thing is so weird. Ow! Okay. Oh, you're just gonna keep spamming this, are you? Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I know it's stuff now. It's just the fact that... Oh man, those blinking lights. You, c I know if y'all can't see it, I think if you can, tell me in the comments. But I'm pretty sure he has a different color palette for the clones. So it's easy to tell. The problem is, is that he's... Oh man. Fuck this, that, that part, man. What the? That's you. That's you. That's you. What the fuck? 
Okay, never mind. I take back what I said with this is fair. Bro, that the beat do they needed to move it uh, them a bit farther from each other because of the fact that the damn saber has way too much of a uh, the hitbox for the saber is way too much and ends up hitting the other one on accident. So essentially, it's gambling on the, the thing hitting first and just doing that, but and just like going back and like restarting the cycle. But Jesus Christ, the fact that. Like, Jesus Christ. What the? Gotcha! Oh. This can't be true. Still. <laughs> I have more surprises for you. The bombs I set all over the factory will explode any minute now. And when they do, this factory will be smashed into nothing. Your legend will end. Not with a whimper, but with a bang. Ah, oh, fuck. There's no time before the bombs explode. Evacuate the place. Now! Oh, well, do you, have to, you don't have to tell me twice. Slash a bomb with your saber and touch it to deactivate. The retreat, retrieve it. Just be very careful. Seven bombs. Okay, where are the rest? There's one. Come on, where's the rest? See. Oh, wait, this level. Fuck. Let's see. I gotta be very careful. Where's the bomb? It better be not. It better not be where I think it is at. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> oh, I hate this level so much. It's so AIDS. Four more to go. Oh, that took a gamble with that. Ah, shit. Two more. One more. Good luck. Where's the last one, man? Good. <laughs> you are. All the bombs deactivated zero. Fine. Thank goodness. Look forward to your safe return, Zero. Yeah, me too, buddy. Zero, I'm sorry that we're always, risk always risking your life. How long do we have to live like this anyways? I'm sorry. I'm kind of depressed. I'll do my best to develop a substitute energy if we even can... If we can even obtain it. A substance energy. Substitute energy. We can live happily in a quiet place. Until that happens, I hope to have your continued support, Zero. Yeah, I'm to um i'm gonna just go upgrade one more mission and i think we're gonna end up to the final boss next or i'm gonna get more missions either or the main server the resistance base has recently become the target of several mal malicious hack jobs you know that the hackers are in a hidden base located beneath the desert 
we don't do something about it soon, we'll have many problems with the generation project of the new energy. Zero. At least they get in their head and base and destroy their main computer. Only because I just want to, okay? You remember where the entrance is? Good luck, Zero. Oh, great. The desert. There it is. Wait a second. I'll unlock it. For you. It's open. Be careful, Zero. I will. Remember the spikes. Remember the spikes. There we go. Thanks for that. Oh, boy. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> Bro! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. I almost had a heart attack, bro. <laughs> yeah. All day about this. Ah, just kidding, you weren't. Now you are, I just unmuted you. <laughs> no, I've been unmuted. Nah, what's up? Nah, nothing much. Called him, didn't realize he was recording. Yeah, but, ah, fuck it, might as well. Because I'm on the final mission, and I'm like, okay, fuck it. Uh, you have to deal with Japan Lover 79 now. Yes. Ha, 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 ha. You know, said about the Game Boy's art style always just makes me nostalgic. I know, right? This game's art style is so good. Inti creates has a hell of a way with art styles. Like, I think they even traded um, or transferred Zero's art style onto Gunvolt, because I think the artist for Gunvolt still used to work on Zero, I'm guessing? One thing I like with this game in particular is you can essentially spec Zero any way you want to, like an RPG. Yeah. Like, if you want to be just a gunning tank, you can totally do that. Yeah, not, well, not exactly. You need to find the elves for it, and I bear, and I never found any health upgrades. So I'm just oh, that is gorgeous when he cuts certain robots in half like that. Oh, yeah, anti creates has a way with sprites. They're like the Japanese version of Way Forward. My last let Z Mega Man Zero video blew up, and <laughs> you want to know what I named the short? Because I started uploading shorts of the video. Wait, but we recorded, uh, uh, I don't know if you want me to talk about it yet. Oh, Fate? The stream? Yeah. I already have the I already have the recording, I just want to make a highlights bit for it. Which, I'm going to uh, wait until so we're not I gonna post it. Up. We're not going to post that stream on edited then. No, because um, that's just that's just not the way I do it. I just like I prefer to make an because the live stream's there if you want to see the full version of the story. But I just make a I want to make a highlights vid of just the shits and giggles we had. Yeah. <laughs> I still like the joke of oh look at us it's us in the background in the bushes eating popcorn. <laughs> that was you actually came up with that that was funny. <laughs> I like to imagine it's like a game group scenario where we're just watching the characters play the game together. Oh that that's pretty much what I was trying to go for. It's like. I'm surprised. Oh my god! Speaking I'd of love to make games. a comedy film. I should take that, edit our eyes in, and make like a little thing that's like we could be watching any other anime right now. You know what I find funny is that speaking of Game Grumps, I'm surprised they don't live stream all that often. Like their content would be perfect for live streaming. I mean, here's the thing with Game Grumps: they used to be a lot funnier back in the day when they could say and do whatever they wanted. But now YouTube. But I feel like strict. YouTube essentially, since the apocalypse, kind of neutered them a little bit. Which was the apocalypse was nearly ten years ago, dude. Yeah, exactly. Gangrops hasn't been good since twenty fourteen. You're pushing. You're pushing thirty. Maybe because Don't you weren't as young. Me. That's why. Oh, you... <laughs> speaking of feeling really freaking old, I went to the doctor's yesterday, right? And guess what they think is wrong with me? What? What did they? Think? Um, you uh, just mute it for a minute. Also, so, yeah, uh... Mega Man Zero is brutal. Uh, if you go to my channel, I'll upload it a short. And um, it was the most disrespectful thing I've seen a game do to me to date. To date. Really? Uh, you know the Azuna drop, right? 
No. You know how Rock Lee like jumps like drops a guy in like um in like a uh, cloth. Are you then... talking about oh the hidden lotus thing? Hidden lotus, but in reality it's the Azuna drop. That's what. Never it's... heard anyone call it that. Well, not you, but in... but well people. I know, know it's the primary lotus. The hidden lotus is when he kicks someone in the air and they like fucking whips them down to the ground. Yeah. Rogue Naruto was weird because they didn't know what to call certain attacks, so they constantly shifted the names of attacks. Yeah, but like, um, yeah, but in reality, it's called the Izuna Drop, and that's the most common way I've heard people call it. Like, right. it wasn't the way Naruto said it. They just changed the name for God for some godforsaken reason. Izuna Drop sounds way cooler. For whatever reason, in a dub before they had Sasuke call it the Chidori when they already had. When they already had Kakashi pretty much named the technique Lightning Blade, they have him say 1,000 Chirping Birds, which is the literal automatopoeia for that. Yeah, that's what it means, but it's like, it's kind that's of That's what Chidori translates to. It'd be the equivalent of, no I mean, to be fair on them, a lot of the subtitles for early Jutsus back then, the fan subs, which is what they probably went off of for the dub, for the dub was, uh, would say the literal name of the technique. Like, Naruto's Rasengan would be Wind Circle Orb or whatever. Yeah, and they would, like, say, like, Art of the Doppelganger in the manga, which was kind of weird. They, yeah, they always did it like that in the manga. They were probably using that for translation, too. Yeah, but it's, like, I'm kind of glad the dub and the Japanese dub, like, shortened the thing. Dude, early anime subbing was fun. There was, like, early anime subbing made Naruto appear like it had a ton of swearing in it. It was great. Oh, I gotta go all the way back to base? Are you kidding me? Usually you just warp me out of here. Yeah, like, aren't there, like, a lot of fan subs that add unnecessary swearing? Like, this is when YouTube was first coming out, and it was, like, when Bio subs were everywhere. Now, the Yu-Gi-Oh! ones are some of the most hilarious ones out there. Well, oh, no. Oh, you have to put it over spikes? Are you kidding me? Uh, I just want to comment on this bitch's design. She looks like one of the fucking Zoros from Zelda. <sighs> Not gonna lie, she does. You want to voice her? I've been voicing all the girls on my own, and I'm like, my voice is killing me. She looks like... Dude, she looks like the high school bitch. So that's what we're she looks for. like Splash Woman. <laughs> Want to see me make Shinigami laugh on controllably, chat? Yeah, let's do it. Tell me it. All right. My name is Leviathan <laughs> Fetch, one of the four guardians <laughs> of... Oh, God. Oh, my God. What are you doing, fucker? Press A! Master X. After hearing so much about you from that pretty kid, and what the fuck refers to a kid as pretty, or did she say petty? Pretty. Okay, what? Hello, Petal Bear? I'd like to report a character. <laughs> Combat nerd, I haven't looked forward to seeing you. I can't wait to see their faces when they find out you're fucking out that it was. <laughs> when they find out that it was. I'll have you know, it's this was weird. I'm not used to reading dialogue like this. I'll have you know, this was the best trip they had during the Elf Wars. How dare you? <laughs> best trip they had during the Elf Wars. Like, Fetch, I wouldn't. I, he retired, yo! Now don't hold back just because I'm a fucking woman, okay? Who said they I did was? this last time when I was designed and. Who said I was? <laughs> and you made it a trans thing! <laughs> Wait, how? Motherfucker. <laughs> he said he said I was a woman! I think you're weak to electricity, are you? Or are you weak to fire? Uh, I miss when we used to record streams and shit together. Ow! Oh! Oh wait, you create ice, therefore you're weak to fire. Dude, you don't understand how much I love doing that, like, sassy game voice. I know, I can tell you love it, because you've been meaning to do it for a hot minute. It's one of the easier, like, oh, dude, fun her voices I oh, can do dude. when I just dick around. Her stage is way bigger. Usually it's like a little blo Oh, yeah, I forgot they didn't have any English voices for the characters. By the way, gay community, we love you. It's just a joke. Bet did you just get my dialogue? You fucking son of a... This yes. This one's the censor, you can't say it on YouTube. Oh, yeah, you are weak to fire. I'm just bad. Wait, what the hell is a water boss? Oh, she's ice, I guess. Suppose. Yeah, she's ice. Look, see, it's meant to represent. Ow! 
I love how you said this drip was fantastic in the elf era. Elf wars. <laughs> elf wars. Dialogue. Oh, sorry. Why didn't you terminate me? Are, are you showing me Murphy? Um. I think so. Is this what Mercy's Oh, like? wait, she's supposed to be dying, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm sparing her. I'm sparing oh. her. She's just wounded. How rude. I told you not to hold anything back, you fucking... Oh, I almost said the word I should not say on Twitch. And just like, this isn't YouTube. Twitch. And I'm like... Um, How rude. I told you not to hold anything back, you massive D-word. Um, I didn't say it. Um, I... Don't what? know what you're talking about. I totally wasn't holding back. Usually when I fight you guys, I die like four to five times. It only took me once for you. Or twice. <laughs> and by C word, I mean chocolate. Get your mind out of the gutter, you stupid comments. <laughs> Next time we meet, you better give me your best. First off, the now that I'm... First off, the ninja was tougher than you. Believe me. It was I, I beat him. It took four times for him. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my nails done and have lovey dubby sex with the first female robot that I see, and it's gonna be fucking amazing! <laughs> Bye, bitch! I hope you enjoy it! <laughs> see you. I'll do my best to achieve my mission to develop a substitute energy. We're gonna get a comment that's like, what joke are they talking about? I must know. The future of all the Reploids depend on us. And if we do, I'll tell them, but unless we get a comment that says that specifically. We've got a problem. Enemy troops attacking our comment? base. Why am I saying we? This is your channel. Yeah, you're not in trouble. I am if you make something bad. <laughs> Can't hold out much longer. Alright. God, I wish they could have up the art, but they didn't. Yeah, it still looks decent. No, no, it's because of the fact it's so low res, you can't really see much. Oh, is this supposed to be a game, like a robot? Re they're rep lords, which essentially meant to be more human-like robots. No, 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 I mean what's speaking now. No, it's just a soldier. Get alarm. Hey, did you see that weird ice bitch that tried to uh, appropriate me earlier? Is that you're doing? Um, no. No, I'm not gonna do that twice. You should also evacuate Zero. Thank you for having helped us so much. Jail. All the female rap boys are just horny for one another. Also, for some odd reason, I made Zero, who's supposedly a badass, into a social anxiety ba into a social anxiety murderer. Wait, you have dialogue options in this? No, I made him like that, like as in like when I'm voicing the guy. Wow, I really made the fucking PC fanboys mad. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The new it's all because of New Arcadia. Extreme justice where peace is maintained by force. Oh yeah, Listen, I like opening floodgates. Oh yeah, by the way, for for context, um, the world here is essentially it's like there used to be a word for rogue reploids called mavericks, who are essentially reploids that went insane and went to go on a, oh, I know. became criminals. And it's then the rogue ones of virus happened too in this version. Uh, I don't know, but essentially what ended up happening is that it's like years later in the future, and this new group, who is apparently X. Has, take, has basically taken over the world and is essentially trying to make this world a military state and or a social or like um essentially it's like oh you doesn't you disagree with what i say well then you're a maverick then wait so x is for essentially became communist then <laughs> i wouldn't say that so i don't know why but uh she's pretty hot the robot he's talking to I don't even know. I don't think that's a robot. I think it's a, that's a person. Oh. Well. It was I who created... <sighs> no, you did not just pull the twist. You did not just do the... Oh. The... Oh, I secretly was the one that created all this. And I'm like... Wait, yeah. are you at the end of the game? Yes. And it was I, just... I who regenerated X. It was I. Wait, she's the main villain of everything in this? No, she's the one that started all this, but is trying to correct her mistakes. So this is gonna this is the final part of the game. Then. Yeah. The, unfortunately this is grinding away at this. Yeah. What's funny is that this game is like three hours long, yet I have eight like four or five vids on this game somehow. They're all an hour long. Somehow. This is what it's kind of side shit, I think. No, there's not. There's like I was just doing the main story alone. This game's supposed to be like three and a half hours. I took like five, six hours. I wish Capcom would start remastering 
game, so I wanted to bring back, honestly. I wish they'd start making some new stuff in some of the franchise instead of just remastering everything. Oh, they are trying to branch out. Like, for example, they're trying to... They made a new IP recently, and I forgot what it's called, but it's like it looks interesting. I'm going to call some sacrilege, but I'd love an edgy first-person Mega Man shooter, but it's not going to happen. Ah, uh, yeah. You resurrected X like you resurrected me? No, it's different. You are an original. Meaning that you are exactly like what you used, you used to be. I'm assuming but Ice Chick's gonna come back later. You should go now. Help everyone evacuate. Now, there were four X games, right? Two on the GB GBA, two on the DS. Four, no, four Zero games on the Game Boy and two Zero games on the DS, which there was gonna be a third, but they got canceled because Inafune. Dude, the DS and GBA transfer was weird because you had Emerald coming out in 2006, right? Wait, were you even alive for this? When? When Mega Man Zero came out? 2006, 2007 ish. Yeah, I was a yeah, I was alive. So the transition period to the GBA and the DS was really weird. I still used my GBA well until like late 2000, because the DS came out in 2005, but. Since Pokemon Number came out in 2007, everyone was still oh. using their GBA for a long time. Oh no, you so. made me you made me feel so old. I got my first GBA in 2009. Oh god. So the and DS I didn't get my and I didn't get my first DS till 2011. Oh uh, yeah. The, luckily, um, luckily, a two I think it was like 2012 was when I got my first 3DS. So the thing with the DS was it literally did not gain popularity until Diamond and Pearl came out. Like, that was the game that, like, sold people on the heart. Because I'll say it once and I'll say it again, Pokemon games will always sell Nintendo portables no matter how shit they are. I don't see anybody buying a fucking 3DS for Super Mario Bros. 3D or whatever. Oh, actually, that's that's why I bought my 3DS for. I can't talk to you right now. That game was amazing! What are you talking about? I'm kidding! I bought mine for Ocarina of Time Remake. Oh, funnily enough, Ocarina of Time was my th first 3DS game. That was like the first one I owned. Yeah, that was the first one I owned too. But then I lost my first 3DS and my mom had to buy me a new one. I played that all the way to Pennsylvania one time. It was great. Dude, uh, I, which dude, I can confirm, the first dungeon is exactly two and a half hours. I feel like what Nintendo cool. needs to do is make a dual pack of Ocarina of Time and the Majora's Rast 3D remakes. Put because it the, put it on the Switch. They can up-res it to 1080. They easily could. Yeah, they can easily just do a simple up -resing. I mean, Nintendo fans will eat that. Because it already up. looks nice on the 3DS because they redid a lot of the models. It looks and nice. And by redid, I mean they set, they also censored some of the models. Which, funnily enough... Needed to be censored because it was kind of gross seeing, like, the child Zoro with no pants on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's understandable. Well, that one, Not guy, that you were, that one guy in the you comments. You, of course, couldn't notice it in the original NES, but I feel like you could notice it on 3DS. You so mean, they you the mean, kids you you mean Game Boy? Where the Ocarina of Time version came out. Oh, it's the monkey! Well, well, well. Heard a lot about you. You must be Zero, the legendary Rep Reploid. How do I do a Chinese accent? Because this looks like Sun Wukong. <laughs> Oh, I can do an Asian accent pretty easily. Chinese accent. Oh, because my mom's style. Okono. No, I, 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 I don't mean Japanese, I mean Chinese. <laughs> well, they're essentially the same thing. Oh, they're... <laughs> or should I say, the old and adaptated reploid. My name is... Oh, I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce that. Hanu Machine. My name is Hanu Machine. I am number one apprentice of... Okay, now it's turning into Russian accent. <laughs> that happened with me so many times, dude. Phantom the Guardian. By the way, I look Chinese, but I'm actually Russian. I'll retire at you for the glory of stuff. I'm assuming they're using re the phrase retire instead of. Yep, kill. I was right. This is Sun Wukong. Wait, are they using the phrase retire instead of kill? Yeah, they're using the phrase ret retire because that's what they call a. Um, how do I say it? It's what they refer to when. A uh, Reploid is gonna get retired. That's what they refer to. I mean, it's a creative way to get the game E rating instead of an E10 one. Even though I'm pretty Jesus sure it's Jesus Christ, gonna be how many monkeys are you gonna spawn? It's funny that the ESRB is completely okay with brutal robot violence, but when it comes to human violence, they're like, uh, no. How many monkeys do you have?
Oh, oh, you. Oh, no which one. collection is this? Is ZX collection? Yeah, which is I highly recommend. It's really good. Oh, I need to play this. I might just emulate them on Game Boy though. So I'm no. Like thirty dollars. No, because um, let me just say this: Zero by default suffers from a thing I call first game in the series itis, where essentially it's the first game in the series, but they didn't exactly plan out what they're gonna do for the next game. So literally, this first game's kind of a prototype for what they wanted for the series. And, um, wow, why is it mixed? Because what you do, Capcom? No, I, here's the thing. It's mixed because of the fact that just straight up ports, not like full on upgrades. Oh, that's why it's mixed on PC. Uh, not on this version that you're playing, but the PC version that's pretty bad DRM. Ah, uh, that explains a lot. Developers, I'll say this once and I'll say it again. Or future indie developers that may be watching, do not put DRM in your game that harms the consumer. Your game will be pirated no matter what you do, and it's pointless to punish the, con the actual paying consumer. And some DRMs actually make it easier to steal from you. And there are some DRMs that won't even work in the future. Like, a lot of old PC games, I think I've said this before, like, I have a lot of old PC games sitting in a disc binder, and half of them won't work because of old DRM. <laughs> Fun, right? I know. Anything good for like under a certain amount of money here? Ah, god damn it! Oh, I should shoot the price of that collection. It's golden week. Yeah, it's actually kind of cheap right now. Nine eighty nine for all for all six games. How much can I get? Question mark. The newest Phoenix Wright for not Chronicles. Capcom, why the fuck haven't you released the 3DS collection on PC yet? I'm gonna stab a bitch. I think they're trying to, because essentially the versions that they gave us are essentially remade versions, I think. Like of the Well they're the, 3DS ports. Not not the 3DS ports, the like the Game Boy and DS versions of like Apollo Justice, for example. I died that fast. What did I what did I hit get hit by? Why are they bundling Mega Man? Legacy Network ba Battle Network Legend Legacy Collection with Mega Man X Dive. Because X Dive was a gotcha game turn offline, where essentially it's like, okay, we know you like this gotcha game, so essentially what we're gonna do is make an offline version, and all the stuff you, you can get, you can get it by just gameplay alone. So essentially, Mega Man X Dive is the newest game technically, because they said it just removed the gotcha elements and just made it a regular game. Oh no, they put Apollo Justice on here, but it's not on sale. Um, oh, I don't know. Monster Hunter Stories One is getting a PC port soon. Neat. We're That's actually gonna be playable. Slowly but surely. I never played the first ones. It's very inaccessible. I guess they figured out oh, 3DS stores dead. We might as well start porting shit now. Yeah, they realized it. Ow. That's only Capcom doing Golden Week sale. Usually, all the Japanese developers get in on this shit. Because they realize that, oh shit, we can sell a ton of games to Americans. Yeah, we can actually test out the market if they want to continue any more series. Fuck! Ah! Uh, boy. Oh, is Dragon's Dogma 1 on sale? I have Dragon. Oh, it's such a shame. I don't even know if there is co op for 2. Is there co op for 2? <laughs> Not on PC, though, because I know the PC version is. Because of DRM, it messes up performance really bad. <laughs> oh shit, you can get it for four bucks. That's good. I have a PlayStation. You... Wait, is Darker Roost in the entire package, or is it just the... It's essentially uh... the entire package. I'm only asking that, because sometimes it's like... Here's just the DLC, even though I think Steam will tell you that if it's only the DLC. Oh man, screw these monkeys, man! Uh, that's how AIDS happen. You probably shouldn't do that. Shut up. <laughs> By the way, chat, that is a joke. That's not how AIDS happened. Shut up. Don't you dare sputter that joke to me again. <laughs> hey, you allowed me to keep recording with you, so... Yeah, I'm probably just gonna, like, do one... This pro I'll make this a f the finale vid, because usually... I think I'm near the end of the, end of the game, because usually stuff like this happens in the end of a game story. By the way, you don't have to put feature because I just kind of showed up. Yeah. 
chat's gonna probably be really confused as to why I just randomly showed up. Oh, what? Oh, those iframes. God damn it. This thing didn't say do not disturb, so I assumed he wasn't really doing anything, so I called him, not realizing he was recording. Yeah, I need to, I need to learn to do that every now and then, because for some odd reason, I never update the status. I just, like, never do it for some reason. Ooh, this part's gonna suck. I hate... What sucks is that he's not even hard. I'm just sucking. I feel like you have that trickster voice, though. On guard, motherfucker. Me? No, him, the boss. Well, he's based off Sun Wukong, so obviously. Is there a way to switch to, like, the blaster and then switch back to the, uh, sword? Oh, oh you can map them. Uh, I have, like, uh, the sword mapped on R1 and the blaster mapped on square. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, I would just kill his dudes in the blaster, or with the blaster no, and then no, get it close. The, the blaster's, like, hella weak. You can't really one-shot them. Oh, I was gonna say, I would try just doing his dude with the blaster and then getting close. This is my freaking no, fallout mine. It's just that it's just I'm impatient. That's why. I'm just really impatient. I was playing 76 today and we encountered a random ass area boss. And oh my god, that thing was disgusting and ate like all my ammo. All of it. And ice doesn't work against this thing for some godforsaken reason. Yeah, why doesn't it work? That sucks. Uh, it probably has some kind of weird ability or something. No, it's because, um, it's not like Mega Man where they make it really clear. Because, um, because since you only really get three elements, you can, there's only... Oh, so there's like no stuns or anything like that? No, you just do more damage. But the thing is, though, since there's only three elements and I fought, like, what, eight bosses? One element can affect two bosses. So essentially, it's like, look, essentially... Since there's now, like, is this X1 or X2? This is zero one, not X1. This is zero one. I already zero. played X1. God, I'm getting my letters confused. Hell! Nah. Oh, electricity works! Are you kidding me? You're fire! Oh God, I really? should be working! Why is. Wait. Is it going with the whole adage that, like, fire gives heat the plasma or whatever bullshit? I don't know, but it's. Totally is. Oh, you said the blaster was weak, and look what you just did. No, it's because I have the weakness on, and the full charge oh. blaster uh, has a weakness amplifier on it. God damn it, are you kidding me? The monkey's weak to lightning? How does that make sense? Hey, That's... viewers. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't give a shit. We've been safe, sure thanks to you. Still, get any in general. As long as X exists, maybe someday. So I'll only be happy if X does not exist. I'll take care of that. Wait, so X just became a straight-up dictator? Yeah, he became a dictator, essentially. At least I assume it's X. I don't exactly know. I'll take care of that. This, just tell me where I he is. I feel like this is why the, uh, whatchamacallit timeline's my favorite, the Legends, because it's, it's not like a freaking dictator. No, it's not, it's, it's not tied to the rest of the series. It's sort of its own thing set way in the future. It's not like, hey, shit's constantly attacking shit. It's actually a peaceful world. Yeah, the thing, the whole thing with, like, Mega Man in general is, like, is robots slowly but surely becoming more and more human. All the way up to ZX, we could just straight up fuse with robots. And the thing is, over, like, from Mega Man to X to Zero, Zero looks more human-like in appearance. So it's essentially just them becoming more and more human. I think Z, though, is its own separate timeline, according to Death Battle. Yeah, Zero... Yeah, Zero's set way in the future, like way, way in the future. Like, I know, I know that the world doesn't, I know that every Mega Man, somehow the world ends. And apparently the most brutal timeline is freaking Mega Man.exe. You, you're the one that gave the Z-Saber to me. Now go. Terminate that copy of me. Terminate with extreme, oh no. Your ex? Oh, Wait, don't. so X is just an orb? There's a... a oh, okay, he's, oh, that explains a lot now. Okay, they did the bullshit of... Oh, he's actually not a villain. The real villain's the copy. For some Listen, reason. I'm good, I'm telling ya. Did he say that I can now use the trans server? Yes, he did. You just said, just said it right now. Okay, I'm going now. Take care. Oh, boy, the trans server. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, this is gonna be a slightly longer vid than usual, because I think this is the final level. Please don't do a boss rush. I don't want to do a boss rush, please. Please I... boss rush him, it's a Mega Man game, it's appropriate. Um, I hate boss rushes, because they suck. Dude, it's a Mega Man game, it's, it's pretty much required. 
Uh, it's pain because I remember X2 and X4. Those boss rushes sucked because they took forever. Yeah, if you menu in a game, it's pretty much a requirement. Yeah, it's just, but it's just like they're so annoying to me. Oh, you're supposed to use that to teleport into levels? No wonder I always got lost in this game when I played it. Actually, no. You usually talk to CL first, but <laughs> but they do allow you to go back to the levels with the teleporter to find some stuff you missed, which I never used. <laughs> like, essentially, this game's a sort of a pseudo Metroidvania, but without the Vania, because it's like, or without the Metroid, because it's literally just, oh, you can just revisit the stages, but there's not much to find other than some elves, and yeah. that's it. I want to play that Metroid Dreads. <laughs> it looks so good, and I wish I owned a copy. Same. Awesome. I think that's what they said. Okay, so Switch Pro comes out. What launch titles would you want for it? They don't have to be Nintendo IPs. Let's see. Astral Chain 2. Oh, no! I, want, I hate I these. I want Monster Hunter Stories 3, to be honest, because that game is great. Which one? I want Monster Hunter Stories 3, Pokemon Conquest 2, which they and oh probably, fuck these birds! I mean, what I really want is a VR-enabled Pokemon MMO, but that's never gonna happen. Oh my god, I hate these birds, bro. This game does the really stupid thing of that the OG Ninja Gaiden on NES did, and essentially every time you go off screen, the enemies just respawn for no apparent reason, and it's oh sucked. that shit. By and the it's... way, comments if you haven't played Pokemon Conquest, it's essentially Baby's first Fire Emblem, but it's really fun. Oh my like, god. It's a tactical RPG, it's not meant to be hard, it's meant to be actually fun. Ah! Oh! I'm getting a headache. Oh, he's just got those disappearing blocks. Oh yeah, definitely, thank god. Whoever in Me Mega Man's design team thought this were a good fucking idea and he needs, needs to go have his head examined? Wait a minute. Oh, wait, I gotta find him. No way. Warning. Two on. Two on one. Oh, come on, man. You don't even have health bars. You're not even worth it. What you say about their health bars, boy? They don't have any health bars, so it's like you're not even worth it. You guys, I told you he's racist. He's playing the health bar card. I don't care. I'm Southern. I can be racist. I'm Southern. I don't Dude, care. I'm <laughs> I'll tell you, them robots are gonna fucking take our job! <laughs> I always love that joke. <laughs> and the economy will basically just die. See, here's the thing, though. I feel like the economy would need a complete fucking overhaul entirely with an automated society, because if automating, no one's gonna want to work. So it's like, what do you do? You can't get money from people because they're not working. And the robots take a lot of thing, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, uh, you know. Money would kind of just become pointless, honestly. Yeah, because we have robots to do everything for us. Problem is, money's also connected to power, and that's the biggest issue. And when that's, no one's spending money, like we could have a peaceful utopic society, but since money's connected to power, that's no. Be an interesting concept for. Yeah, I had an idea for this though, big society. Cause you have, cause you know how the fact that people love a hero or like an underdog, or like a dystopia, yeah. a dystopic society is one where people are forced to become a hero, like forced altruism. I don't mean like, oh, it'll encourage more people. I mean, if you don't be a hero, you essentially will have your life screwed. Cause people that are heroic will be favored more over those that are not. So essentially, it's kind of like it essentially becomes a battle a royale. Situation. Yeah, where it becomes a battle royale of who, who's more heroic, and if you're not heroic or like don't do anything beneficial to society, you essentially lose any job opportunities you have. Oh, uh, so it's kind of like Valhalla in a way, where like if you're not like a warrior, you're pretty much gonna go to uh, Norse hell or whatever. Fuck! You know, I did research into that concept. Hell is Norse Hell is explained wrong in a lot of ways. And like most media, Norse Hell is not actually hell. It's, uh, 
It's just it's just a place where souls go when they die. If they never, fight. I mean, if you're bad, you'll be punished. But that's like all religions. But like, if you're good, you're pretty much just gonna be just living in the afterlife. That's essentially it. Yeah, like you are. Take the Soul Society from Bleach. If you're bad, you'll be punished. But if you're good, you're like, okay, whatever. It's gonna live. That's pretty much it. The reason Hell has two personalities is because she also protects us. She punishes the evil souls and protects the ones that were good. Mostly. Which I find that a really cool idea, just like having a judge of the afterlife that has multiple personalities. Which is cool to me. Okay, now this is just... Okay. The... You, it... Look, you have thing... discovered the strat. It became a Beyblade. Beyblade! I can't sing that while getting copyright struck. I miss that series, but it became shit, and I hate that. You know what else became shit? Oh, wait. Remember Yu-Gi-Oh! series past 5Ds? Yeah. And I will hold on to that opinion to the damn grave. Would you hate me if I say I liked Zexel as a kid? I mean, Zexel wasn't awful. You just... It's pretty much just a re... It was like a modern retelling of the first Yu-Gi-Oh! essentially what it was. Yeah. Also, I like how... <laughs> Fuck, what was I gonna say? Now, apparently people have a ton of, like, beef with Arc 5. I haven't even seen Arc 5, so... Isn't Arc 5 the bike one? That's 5Ds, and it's my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh ever made. Oh, they have Yoku You know why? Oh, man. Uh, the guy who made Yu-Gi-Oh fucking loved motorcycles. So you can tell he was really passionate about it. Oh, man. I gotta... That's such cool. Oh, wow, I just made the joke about disappearing platforms. And now they have guns?! Yep. Dude, I think Capcom just wants to see somebody... Can't make that joke on YouTube. Yeah, he went uncredited in the game's development. Which is weird. Because why... Why? But yeah. Speaking Dude, of Satoru Iwata... Oh, also, but also, yeah, rest in, rest in peace to Satoru Iwata. By the way, did you ever see that live stream where someone actually made a sermon? Or like a church thing on YouTube where there was like a live stream on it was just a bunch of shitty renders of, the, of them on Gmod in front of like a grave and I'm really? like and I'm like oh my god like I get it you respect the man but that's a bit much I mean I tend not to mourn celebrities it's like I don't know them yeah like the only ones that really should mourn like, are respect what they did but yeah like unless they like were really... like that like that lovable yeah I don't think yeah it's like oh, it's like it's like saying oh, Robert Downey Jr. It's like it would be sad, but it's more sadder for the family because they knew him personally. Well, we didn't. We just know like, he was Iron Man. Don't get me wrong. When Chuck Norris dies, I'm going to make a ton of jokes about it, but in good faith. Oh, they're gonna make so many jokes. It's like, don't worry, Chuck Norris is gonna go beat the devil. <laughs> he just he just. <laughs> they tried to send Chuck Norris to hell, but uh, no, Chuck Norris is gonna be like that Raditz joke in Team Four Star Bridge, where he just like fucking turns hell into a pool of blood. What happened to the fountain? It used to be water! Whoa. I mean, I don't think they can hold Chuck Norris in hell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be to hell and it's like, good, I was waiting for a challenge. He's <laughs> like, oh, you're Satan? <laughs> it's like, oh, you think I died because I died from something? No, I just died out of boredom because I was... <laughs> I just died out of boredom. I, I'd imagine to go with this. Okay, Satan, I'm here. I died and I accept your challenge. Uh, how'd you die? Out of boredom. Because nothing could kill me. <laughs> so I decided I could challenge you. <laughs> Dude, he's like shilling dietary supplements on my local radio now. Chuck Norris is sad. He's what? Shilling dietary supplements. Why? Don't know, but those are proven to notor be notoriously bad for you. Don't take weight loss supplements, kids. They are terrible for you. I'm guessing he ran out of work, because... Uh, I guess they weren't selling enough Total Gyms. That's the reason people started making the jokes, was because, like, people, like... He was being seen as washed up, so people just started making the jokes. What? How did he get so washed up anyways? Like, did he just not have enough acting gigs anymore? I mean, once the whole muscle-bound 80s hero thing died, a lot of celebrities ended up like that. That's why the Expendables exist. 
Yeah, it's an ode to all the people that used to work like that. I kind of miss old action movies. They weren't afraid to be just dumb and stupid. Yeah. Or not... new action movies are just like, we gotta be like Fast and the Furious. Well, not like Fast and the Furious. It's more like dumb action movie. People see dumb action movies now as like, oh, they have no good stories. Oh, first off, dumb action movies can have some good stories. It's just the fact that the action helps to display that. For example, Die Hard. Whereas, like, he wasn't an action hero. He was just a guy trying to do what he can. Dude, the crow was... The crow wasn't dumb, but it was... Was it worth uh, Bruce Lee's kid's life? No, but an amazing movie. Oh, yeah, I forgot they remade the movie. Or they're remaking it. The crow. Yeah, why... Dude, that is such an insult to the actor that literally died creating it. Why? Because the action was that intense? No, no, no. It was Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee, and... I'm pretty sure Bruce Lee would have sued the production company if he was still alive at the time. But uh, basically, they went to perform. It was the studio's complete fault. They went to go film a stunt without the uh, stunt coordinator on set, which pretty much is in charge for everyone's safety. And what do you know? A prop gun malfunctioned and he died. The son? Yes. Jesus. What a shame. Mm hmm. Why you never film a stunt when you're filming something without the stunt coordinator? It's why he's there. Like people think stunt works like the safe thing. It's not. Dude, I'm just watching a full tism on this game. Fuck! Uh, I was there. He only had one bar. You know Dan's autistic. He, you know what? I'm gonna believe. I'm gonna believe that because he just. Seems to have he that made a vibe. whole. He came out on one of the Ocarina of Time videos, or Wind Waker videos. Oh. Why I really like his band. I want to see them live one day. Dude, if Ninja Sex Party retires, then we have a fucking problem. Isn't Dan like reaching fifty? I wouldn't really be mad though, because I'd really like to see some like really serious music from him again. Like that one '80s album he did was fantastic. Oh my god, yeah, he probably is like reaching 50. Hey Siri! How old is Dan Avidan? 45. He's 45? I remember he would like tell stories about in the 70s and shit when he was still alive, and I'm like, damn, he's that old? Yep. Ah, oh, there he we go. He used to live fairly close to where I live, actually. Oh. oh yeah, he used to live in Jersey, right? Yeah, North Jersey. Yeah, he was Jew he's Jewish, so of course he lived in North Jersey. Yeah. Whew. Okay, now I just need to get rid of the big bag. One more boss left. You can do this. <sighs> I usually, usually these stages have like three rounds. You have to shut the trans server near your current position has, has been activated. You should return to base now to take a rest. For some reason, the trans server is not allowed to play with the men. We don't know why. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna save before anything. <laughs> return to base. <laughs> you have to feed your elves. So, well, you have to feed your elves to like level them up. Zero. Promise you that you'll not try to push yourself too hard. If something happen. There's an achievement for completing it all in one go. If that's the case, oh my god, crackheads. Also, if you ever play Fable 2, do not do a skill-based hero. It is a fucking new trap. I mostly used guns. That's all I did as a kid. Wait, you did a skill-based hero? Yeah. What of it? No way! I've never met anyone who's played it like that. I'm Monkey. You underestimate me, dude. Like, the stealth route in Fable 2, I've never seen anyone do it. Oh! Like that I just used before. guns the whole time. That's all I did. Yeah, that's that's a skill-based thing. Yeah, Wait, I'm... Fable 2 or Fable 3? Cause Both. Two didn't have guns. No, two did. Two had crossbows. No, I had guns. It did not have guns, from what I remember. Oh, well, I remember it having guns because I remember using a gun. It, okay, it might have had guns. Now that I think about it, I should the bandits had them. God, it's all I played two. I had both on disc. I should play Isn't Fable Two recording. considered like the only good one after? Because like once Fable Three hit, it was considered dead. The series. No, nah, Fable Three is great. It's just the end game that's terrible. It's like you better grind up all this money, or else your entire kingdom's gonna die, and you'll have no end game. What's fucked up is that I didn't even know that. I just went into debt and that was it. 
I mean, there's actually a way to cheese it in a lot of players. Do. There's even an achievement for doing it now. For cheesing they it? They add it in after the fact. Yeah, what you do is... You, uh... Because you it gives you a time limit before the darkness comes. Fuck. And if, if you constantly work during that time limit and just gather the money you would need, you can make... You literally just make all the good decisions. And you'll still have money to save your people. And you have the perfect utopic kingdom at the end. Oh yeah, it's like, I did it's all monotonous, the monotonous, but it works. What the? F and the easiest way to do it is to grind money, grind money, grind money, buy real estate, buy real estate, buy real estate, grind money, grind money, buy real estate, buy real estate. Oh, I never did that. <laughs> it's, just, it, it's really fun, actually. I enjoy doing it every time. And, I just uh, kept, I just kept doing the baking mini game. That's all I did. Yeah, it's one step to do it, and then you just uh. Do the thing and you get the achievement. I think it's called Lovable Tyrant or something. Okay. Even though I never got it because every time I play, I always turn the orphanage into a whorehouse because I'm a psychopath, but yeah. Fuck! Japan number 79's here, bitch! <laughs> oh. I just make my own entrance music. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you somehow manage. Okay, this part clearly wasn't designed. Because of the fact that I think there would be spikes here, because they encourage you to jump, use the things to jump on them. Ah, uh, these always give me anxiety. These fucking wall glide moments. Oh, dude, X4 and X2 had so many of those. They gave me so much anxiety with X2 and X4. I swear to God, I lost a few years of my life. Fucking man. hate X2. That game's gonna die on fire. X1's no. pretty. My favorite Mega Man game of all time is Mega Man 2. Here's the here's the thing. X3 though. Oh, that one I hate because that game is just straight up cruel. Aw, oh, man, they put my diabetes on screen. There's a slug. Wait a minute. No. What are you weak to? Oh, oh, you... I, s oh, that's, dude, oh, that's cheap. Guess, that's ice. cheap. That's cheap. You split into different... That's cheap. I like how Zero is so edgy in this version, because in... In, um... In the old versions, he it was... Edgy like, the old versions? Yeah, but it was more like in a way where... Oh, no, he was like that dude bro shonen protagonist. It's like, you could do it if you just believe in yourself. Yep, that's pretty much it. I miss protagonists like Yusuke from Yu Yu Show. It's like, don't be afraid to make your protagonist a bit of a dick. It gives them more character development that way. Ah, uh, and I need to get sub tanks. I don't, you know what's fucked up? I have, I've beaten... The, I'm play, I played this whole game without using a single sub tank. Really? Yes, a, not a single one. Alright, what kind of anime protagonist do you like better? One that's neutral or one that's completely good? Neutral. Because it's like... I like neutral ones too, because like... I don't want to see my character be good all the time. I want to see them like... Yeah, break look... the rules and get in the... Or like, swear at their teammates once in a while. <laughs> Shiro! <laughs> Shiro from what? Fate. Oh. He's, an uh... he's annoyingly altruistic. That's what I like to call him. Now, if we're talking about bad anime protagonists, Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. I just opened your fucking comment floodgates with that. I hate Zenitsu, dude. It's like, yeah, I want to watch a character get the shit kicked out of him for like a 30 minutes until he finally does something. Yeah, that's entertainment. Oh, man, this face sucks. Okay, yeah, okay. I got no... This boss requires like, dude, patience. That spider fight he was in in Demon Slayer almost made me drop the show entirely. Because it was stupid. It was literally the entire fight is him getting the shit kicked out of him and like getting poisoned until he finally like goes fucking unconscious murder hobo mode. I can call him a murder hobo because of that. You know what pisses me off even more? He's telling like the strongest character in the entire show. Yet. Yeah. That's one thing I realized. It's like. People are starting to realize that Demon Slayer is hella overrated. That's one thing I enjoy about the community, because they're starting to realize that, oh, wait a minute. Animation's good, but the story is very mid. Hello? I haven't had years to become balanced, and it was. I, I think it was two that had that weird one where you have to just put explosives specifically and if you run out of energy for it, you're screwed. Oh, That's yeah. Rule. 
I also like how they only added the charged buster in like Mega Man 5, which was obscenely broken. No, they got no, it was the thing since three. No, in five. Actually four. No, three. No, you're getting it wrong. I probably am getting it wrong. I'm surprised Capcom just got away with releasing the same game for years on end. The RE4? I mean, no, I mean Mega Man. Like, they took the Pokemon formula and just went with it. But then again, back then on the SNES, games didn't really have much variation. Unless your name was, uh, specific JRPG. Final Fantasy? Yeah. I'm gonna start my own playthrough of, uh... What's that really good one we played that we're making the Starbucks jokes? Star Ocean? Yeah, I'm gonna start my own playthrough of that. Well, apparently a lot of the fans recommend finding the SNES version with an English translation, because apparently the PSP remake kind of sucks. How the fuck? Yeah, there's some bad translations out there. Like, uh, like a lot of fans highly recommend playing the SNES version because that one actually has proper pacing. Because apparently the the remake of one um, added the open world, which is why there was barely any story. Okay. And you already know, and you already saw how boring that got after the story just suddenly stopped. You saw for yourself. God, there's so many jokes we could have made, but the story just never happened. Right? Like, the story just never seemed to go anywhere after a bit. Like, you ever noticed that? This dude thinks I'm, bit this dude thinks I'm fucking view-baiting people. I'm not. I'm just, like, commenting on people's stupidity right now. Uh, and if you want to go over to Japan Lemma 79 and maybe uh, watch me be stupid inside of Fallout for a while, go ahead. Oh yeah, I forgot, you've been I'm playing through Fallout, me. right? You've been playing through Fallout? Like, Tactics specifically? I only put... Nah, I've been playing through New Vegas. What happened with Tactics was, it's, even though they made a port, it's like a really bad port. Like, it only runs in like 240p on your monitor. There we like, go. Play, like, when it's not great. Whew, also, the close. controls have not aged well. That was close. Also, apparently they're remaking Fallout 2. Dude, I've officially pissed off the Helldivers community in ways I don't think I'll recover from. Oh. Oh. Are you kidding me? They can only make... They made three final boss levels but couldn't make three more? Jesus Christ. Nah, they just... You see, they're running out of money toward the end of the game, so they're just like, here you go. No, here's the thing, I believe you, because Zero is a budget game. It was like near a time when like Capcom was desperate to get Mega Man back in the limelight, and they were like taking a gamble because- They probably needed something. No, they wanted to make another series because- Or they had a contract with Nintendo that stated they needed to put something on the Game Boy. Yeah, like what ended up happening is that, um is that like they yeah they needed something on the game boy and the thing is they couldn't exactly rely on the x series because x6 kind of sucked so they sort of had no choice but to make a new series but the and same then x8 happened and they're like we made it a my mm -hmm. the a word on youtube here's the thing we made an atrocity that's better here's the thing x8 is actually pretty decent it's actually one of the better ones from the later four games People just hate the story of it. Yeah, X8... Is that the one with the weird Force 3D mechanics, though? No, that's X7. X7 can go die in a fire. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, because when it ended up happening... No, don't play through, no, don't play through X7. X7. Game really is. Don't do it, dude. X7 sucks so bad. Because they tried implementing X6 and X5 and X4 movement into there, and it did not work out fine because it felt so slow. You know, if you don't need a hybrid system, don't make a hybrid system. You know what's fucked up is that Inafune had the gall to say, Oh, 3D is just an art style. Forces 3D mechanics into the game. Forces 3D mechanics into a 2D game. Hey guys, it did it! And he, and he said it himself that 3D is an art style. Okay, why did you make it a whole different gameplay loop then? Money. Like they were desperate trying to get Mega Man into like into like 3D, but 
but they couldn't exactly do it right, so they just were forced to, like, they would they tried putting 3D mechanics in a series that that was not designed for 3D mechanics. It's why like uh, and legends happen, and we're like okay, whatever. Legends was proof it could work. The problem is, is that Legends was more of an exploration type thing. They couldn't exactly just look at look at Legends and just say, "Oh, just put that in Mega Man." Which is which is why people were like people clamoring for our next game. Yeah, and then yeah, they put it on X game because that was a spinoff. <sighs> Such a shame, because I'm pretty sure people wanted X nine because X eight ended on a, a sort of a cliffhanger. Somehow, I don't know why. Yeah, but the X series wasn't doing good fiscally at that point, so. Yeah. I'll teach you how to run fast. What do you mean run fast? Oh, I think it just increases your movement speed. <sighs> Great. I'll teach you how to run fast. Of the damage stone. Do you have the money? Yeah, it's it's really dumb. I'm pretty sure X two and three end up making the series much more customizable. Essentially, you're making your own zero, and I'm like, damn, that is sick. Like making your own zero sounds awesome. But then X4, then zero four happened and, and cool. kind of just screwed it over. And X zero four kind of happened. Zero four is not bad, far from it. But they ended up regressing the all the improvements they had from X zero three for some reason. Like they just ended up just removing all the improvements. Like they added so much customization in zero three, and then they toned it way back in zero four for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, it is weird that they did that. You, everyone been gone by now. Like, we did a thing. Nah, that thing sucks. Let's stop doing the thing. Promise me that you'll come back alive. Well, I mean, there's three more games, so yeah, I'm alive. You even cannot destroy Neo Arcadia. I just want you to be able to return safely. Good luck. I l but like I said, Zero probably has the best story out of the main games. So it's like, yeah. Because here's the thing. Inti creates they're essentially they essentially make high concept platformers where it's like um they try to add in a really good story in a platformer which is very difficult to do because platformers just relied solely on gameplay at first it wasn't until later on when they like people started adding in proper writing stories the problem is oh no these oh no oh no that is a very classic Mega Man track that was just playing let me show you what I've learned. I kicked your, I've kicked your ass before. I could do it again. Yay! Mom, mom bought me wings. Oh, I, I hated this boss because the devs realized you would try to jump over them, so they like the guy launches bombs, so that way you can't like make it doesn't make it easy for you to jump over him. I don't know if people try and cheese or something to that shit. Fuck. And this part's annoying too! By the way, remember my rule about um, playing long games on live streams? I think, yeah. I think one, because I'm running out of short games to play, and at some point I have to start live streaming more often. Which is probably gonna be a benefit. How do you actually run out of short games to play? Because most of the games I play are indie or from the past. I got you. And also, this game had this game, unlike in the original version, has uh, new save points in enabled in the game. So essentially, the this part right here wouldn't exist in the original oh. game. The it's why I was able right. to get this far. Because zero one is considered the hardest for the wrong reasons, and what ends up hap what ended up happening is that well, you know, because like I said, zero is probably the worst. Mega Man Zero One is probably the worst in the series. At least that's how fans see it. So yeah. Oh, you want revenge? I killed you before. I can kill you again. Let's go, brother. Ah, uh, good old revenge. Also, remember um, what's that game called again? That one game of vampires that the Dishonored devs made that was ass. 
Vampire Masquerade? No, that's the Activision. Something else. It was this new game. It was like an Xbox exclusive that was meant to save the brand. But then it's like, it sucked. Oh, Redfall! You know what sucks is I remember here, I found a rumor that apparently we might be getting more Xbox games. That, and I and I don't mean just, oh, the third party ones that the Xbox, com the Xbox bought. I mean, we might be getting Halo and Gears kind of Xbox games. Yeah, because, you know, Xbox is kind of Listen, sucking. We might get Halo PlayStation. Viva Pinata, PS5, which would, be, which would be fucking awesome. Yeah, we might be getting Halo, but I'm not. I'm going to take, take it with a grain of salt, though. I don't know if it's true. Dude, playing, I just thought they port a replay so I can play Viva Pinata in 4K because, uh, uh, reasons. Oh, yeah, I forgot Dead Rising got ported for some reason. Yeah, Dead Rising 1, 2, and 4 got ported except 3. And I'm like, dude, I love 3. Three, I grew up with 3. I used to watch a lot of Vanoss play 3. There we go. So they made a Saw roller coaster in Europe, and they combined two of my favorite things together, and it's not in the US. Oh, boy. I wish that... Two people combine two of my favorite things together, and it's not in the United States. That makes me sad. I wish my... Oh, it's... Huh. Hmm. Outdated Reploid garbage. You should have remained in your place of rest. With my blizzard, you'll, you'll regret not staying here. Hmm. <laughs> Time to go back to sleep. <laughs> Whoa, shit! Essentially making it so that, um... That, um... They only have to add three weaknesses, and yeah, it's uh, it makes the game kind of easy once you have all the weaknesses, because it's like, oh, I don't have to worry about figuring out the patterns, because I already figured out what they're going to do. I just need to test out one or two, and if it works, it works. Let's see, i got to fight other bosses, because I know I probably have to, some of them are still alive. And knowing Mega Man's going to be a boss rush. I like how the boss rush is in this boss. I like how the boss rushes in this game are much less cruel because of the fact you do so much damage. Because, um, one of my main complaints with, like, Mega Man X is that the fact that weaknesses were borderline useless. Because it's like they barely did any bonus damage and it was, like, super annoying. Right. Like, yeah, it, I felt that they were useless and it's just, man. Because you already saw it yourself. Boss weaknesses don't really do much damage. Like, for, remember, yeah, with, like with the any damage. Yeah, like, remember the Sigma boss we were having such a hard time- I was having such a hard time with? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, welcome, Zero. Been expecting you. Can't be waiting for quite some time. So please, don't give up too easily. Let's get started! All right, let's see how I'm gonna do this. What's your weakness again? Electricity? Nope. Very good. It's fire, I'm gonna be mad. Just all in fire. Nope. <laughs> I was about to hit escape. Oh, well, what you do? Rather hit the escape button. Uh, no, I, I almost accidentally hit the escape button. Oh my god, that went so far! It reminds me of Zelda when he hits things. This guy tried to command grab me. You don't just get the command ma command grab me. No. No command grabbing for you. <laughs> no. Beach. Not yet. But no. Why can't I move my leg? So be it. <laughs> I'll let you live for a little while longer. Farewell. What do you think of that? Pretty good. Pretty yeah. good voice acting. Like I'm, I feel like I slowly improved, but I doubt it. You're improving. Not a place for someone like you. You'll regret coming here. I killed you before. You're a pushover, man. Okay. 
No. It's not, he's like going into the beat. Never forget this. Oh, you're definitely coming back for zero two. You're definitely coming back. Is that ice patch you were fighting? No, all of these guys. Oh, not the ninja! Oh. Get him, Mr. Ninja! I just killed you in the beginning of the vid! Ah! Oh. Give light to the people. The destruction of Mavericks. No one shall disgrace Master X. Your termination will not commence. You will not be getting severance pay. I hate this fucker. He's so annoying. You'll see what I mean. Master does is that um he makes her you have to like attack a clone of his and it's super annoying because you never know which is the real one and it's super. I mean he's pretty good at shadow clone jutsu. Oh, I hate this guy so much. Ah. Monster X, I didn't even notice. Why do you think I've been? Oh here, oh dude, you're lying. Do it. <laughs> it's you again. Sweet patches. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing with you again. You have no fucking chance to win this time. I had super great lesbian sex with your partner, and it was amazing. And I'm super powered up now. I don't know about that. I cheesed you last time with what I think it's was. Cheese gets power for having really intense lesbian sex. <laughs> Shut up. Ah! Suck it. No, I'll be back. Don't worry. You get to fight me for eternity. Bitch, I'll be back. To fight me for eternity. Okay, he's fucking back again. Now I gotta cancel my date with the girl. We were getting fucking margaritas and everything. This is some bullshit, man. I'll have you know she's 14. <laughs> so therefore, son of a bitch, you are a pe who's 14? <laughs> CL. Oh. Why? I retract my previous statements. Bah. Yeah, Mega Man's not one for bot for villain development. Yeah, no shit. I'm gonna try in the new world like I did the last five times. Oh, I failed again. Shit. Sure. You just described Mega Man X in a nutshell, dude. That's Mega Man 1, 2, and 1 to 6 also in a nutshell. Dr. Why he's like, I'm going to take over the world with the same exact plan. Didn't they give Dr. Light a well, list? Shit. Didn't they give Dr. Light a lisp in the fucking... Yeah, like, you talk like this. Like, I'll have you know, Here's I'll have you know, I'll have you know that I have developed. <laughs> I have developed. Developed. <laughs> he, he talks like a child. It's, I know. Who is the Back when they didn't take video game voice acting seriously. Yeah, here's Lil Fun. Lil Fun fact, Mega Man 8 and 4, X4 have the worst voice acting in gaming history. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm. Oh, I can't do it like. Shut that up! Voice. Don't. That's do enough. It. Yeah. Uh, hello, Bestie. I'm about to cancel our five o'clock. I'm kind of dying. Oh, but I'm supposed to be dying. I. You learn. I, I can't accept my own defeat. Haha. -ha. I'm happy to bet someone who can fucking defeat me, bitch. Weren't you talking all that shit earlier? <laughs> bitch, I was. <laughs> But I've been looking for a rapper like you, motherfucker. Sorry, I'm not interested. <laughs> now, why don't you take off that helmet? We'll see what we're fucking working with. I'll have you know my I'll gold. My, you. I'll have you know my blonde locks are beautiful and they're not for you. Someday. Oh, she's coming back. Yeah, no, I, no, I'm pretty sure they're all alive. It's just the fact that, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all these characters I mean, are I, alive. I remember when these bitches explode when you win. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't think they're gonna. I don't. I think. Yeah, they definitely planned a zero two because this was definitely some sort of prototype of some sort. Dude, his mask gives me Sentai vibes. That's probably what inspired it. Hey, Sudo, did I ever tell you I was in the Ginyu Force? Shut. <laughs> I also did a short stint on the Power Rangers. Oh, by the way, did you know the Black Power Ranger passed away? Or the Green Ranger, I think? I forgot who it was. Jason David oh, Frank. Really? Yeah, he passed away and he did like a thing for like a lot of old Power Rangers fans where it's like, uh, I forgot what it was called, but it was like Dragon something and it looks sick. That's a shit. Yeah, he passed away, unfortunately. 
I was never really a Power Rangers fan, though. I was. Possible. How could I? I won't. I won't allow you to reach where Master X is. I'll take you with me. <laughs> oh, you blow up. Hard. Oh, yeah, she does damage. Oh. By the way, we must. Other bosses, we must cancel plans to go to Sushi Place. Okay, so three out of the four bosses blew up. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, you Googled it? No. It's literally like, it showed him teleporting. He's the only one that blew up. Like, the other boss is teleported. He's the only one that blew up. That's it. Ah, uh, I won't allow you to proceed anymore. Give up. Oh, it's you. Give up, bitch! You're Stop. gonna have to make a, an edit in the count. You're gonna have to make a counter in editing and say how many times I say bitch like that. No, <laughs> you can't make me. I will. Nah. You are no match for him. Leave. Master X. But... Why does it make X slightly hot? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no. You're not gay, but what the fuck? I do wish, my master. Made it last, Zero. I'm looking forward to this moment. You. You must be the pirate copy of X. No. Perfect copy of the original X. The new hero who saved the human race from this wasted world. Didn't you notice? The humans have found happiness more than ever before. The utopia that humans have searched for is here in Dio Arcadia. <laughs> this is something that you and the original X could never create. Only I could do this. This is a peace that can only be achieved by retiring on countable numbers of innocent reploids. This is not what anyone wanted. This is just a joke. <laughs> oh, you are so funny. It's been fun. Now, let's get down to business. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, no. He has all the X4 armors. Oh, no. Really? He has all the armors from the previous X games. Oh, no. Oh, oh that's some crazy shit. Ah! Game over. You lose. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I died so fast. <laughs> I give you an A for effort. Bro. Oh, this is gonna suck so hard. I also think you need one of these. That's the main! Okay. Oh my god, I've been going for two hours. This video's gonna be an hour long. I'll stop now. Did those record? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> they heard all of it. Luckily, I'm just gonna put some epic music in the background as I die a bunch of times. Oh, so how are you gonna edit this? Yeah, that's what I do. If, like, I stopped doing that for a while, but it's like, yeah. I stopped doing that for a while because it got super annoying, but after that I'm like, I'm only going to do it for final bosses or bosses that are worth it. Man, Zero and X's designs in this look so cool! Such a shame we never got a continuation. Oh, they do. And it looks so badass. It's just, it's just a shame we never got a continuation. I'm telling you, edgy Mega Man first person, please. Think about 2000s Mega, Mega Man just hit different. I don't know what it was. Uh, is it because none of the games came out and they all got fucking canceled? That <laughs> can't be. Look at you, Capcom! Ten bucks saying he has a second phase. Oh, religiously. All oh, endgame bosses do in Mega Man. Oh! Oh, you traded for fuck. <laughs> One thing I wish they did was that um they let you map the item switching or like power switching to um 
Should be on the D pad. Yeah, but the thing is, the D pad is useful for the people that want to like play the, like, the, way, the way it was originally intended. Damn, you're really gonna dodge into this. Not that though. That's a homing thing. That's bullshit. Oh, this is... Oh, that was... Oh, I did it! I did it! Let's go! Let's go, boy! I just had to spam charge... Sa I just had to spam charge z Saber. Let's go. I thought you said to charge Satan. That's a completely different video game entirely. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. What the f That's a particular reason why they made him look like a What sentence. in the fuck was I looking at? You saw that too, uh, right? I was, oh, I saw that. I feel like you should just spawn him on a second phase if you beat the first one. Huh? It's actually funny. The only atrocities my cat can commit my name is scratching the shit out of my chair. Okay, fuck Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You start grinding up the spear. I think you should just turn on rookie hunter mode at this point. Nope. Not risking it. I already bitched out twice. I'm not risking it. I bitched it. out twice. We're not doing it again. Yeah, I gotta be in his face. The problem is that... Ugh, it's so annoying. <sighs> man, I gotta play a game of, like, peekaboo with this man. Because I gotta, like, be super patient. I hate being patient in games like these. Oh, yeah. When you're, like, constantly trying to avoid death, it's the worst. Yeah, because, like, you ever play bosses like that where it's, like, it just relies on you waiting and waiting and just wasting your time? Mm -hmm. Rather than it being a genuine skill of, oh, I was able to get this hit in because I knew we, how to dodge it. Instead, it's just, oh, wait for him to finish his attack before attacking. And it's just, ugh. Good luck. Not only that, his attacks are randomized, so he could probably spend the same attack over and over. It's just, ugh. It's so frustrating. Oh shit, the fight started, I didn't realize. I didn't realize the fight started. Oh god. He's focusing on the thing right now. You know How are what? things going on your end? Huh? How are things going on your end? I'm tempted to just activate rookie hunter mode on this. Oh wait a minute, I can't do it from here. I gotta do it from the game, from the title screen. <laughs> that sucks. So I can't just turn it off and then on because I think they realized that was, right, an, I think that was an exploit in the X collection where people would turn off uh, the thing right before they killed the boss in order to get the achievement. And ooh, 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 that sucks, but I can't blame them. That does suck. Because it's like in order to prevent you from cheesing the achievements, they decided to just like have it in the menu only. And it's like annoying, but it makes so much sense because of it. So essentially, yeah, the game, the game forces you to essentially play on hard, on the hardest difficulty you choose to, because like you chose this, you're gonna do it. Yeah, really. Like you chose to do this difficulty, you should have known. You aren't gonna bitch your way out of this one. Oh, I was doing way better that time. Way better for the second phase. I could do this. I can. I just need hope. I just need hope. That's all I need. Oh. Hope. Hope. I could... Did somebody say despair? Nah. 
All I need is hope. I could do this. Dog and Rampa joke. I know. I could do this. The the fully charged saber does enough damage. I just need hope. It's been like almost two hours, man. I need this. I know. And yeah, I'm, you're probably super tired by now. Oh, I am. Oh, we should do a ton of damage when you hit him. That one miss is kind of fatal. You see? Jeez. You see? I was doing way better that time. I could do this. I was doing way better that time. You saw. Like, way, way oh, better. I saw. <laughs> I could do this, dude. I could do this. I could do this. I need- I got you hope. Got I got hope. I got hope. I could do this. I could finally go to bed. <laughs> Come on, you got this. Oh, boy. You are. I am the hype! Let's go. God, most of this video is just my deaths. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a four hour video, and I'll, in two of those hours, like, I just gotta cut out the deaths. one you have to also get past Sigma's cat. Yeah, and then you can fight Sigma, which is ooh. Like, now you can fight Sigma, who will literally obliterate half of your health. Yeah, he's very Sigma's first phase isn't that bad. It's not that bad. It's just him jumping around over and over. It's his third phase is the problem. Ah oh, man. Yeah, fell off the platform. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Really, really annoying. God, this music's fucking awesome. Yeah, his attacks are random. He has, like, no combo strings. Why was I using the buster? Alright. Um, you want to ice shotgun you anyway. Alright, so, um... Guys, I'm gonna end the, end the recording off here, and I'll record tomorrow. Um... Cause yeah, I, I think I need a well well rest well done rest. Cause you know how sometimes when you play a hard game, you're struggling, and then like you put it away for a bit, you come back, all of a sudden you one shot it. Dude. Yes. That ever happened to you where like you put the game down for a bit after like dying so many times, and then you come back to it and absolutely molly you off the boss. <laughs> oh, that's happened to me before. Or like you enter like a Zen mode somehow and you just win. Yeah, you do. Like, right. I want my fucking revenge, and you win. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the video recording here, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Fan Lover 79 is signing off.
Oh, that healing came in clutch so hard. <laughs> I. Why? I was supposed to be the perfect copy. How can this be possible? I was supposed to be a hero. I just remembered something. I was not as naive as you are. That's what made him a hero. I won't forgive you. I'll take you with me. The final defense line has been destroyed. Self-destruction mode activated in Area X. All dangerous elements are to be eliminated. It's time to go. Oh my god. Oh, my heart. Oh, that healing item came in clutch. Since he disappeared, I've been fighting this war alone. Against an uncountable number of mavericks for nearly a hundred years. Battle after battle, so painful and so sad. But the hardest part was what I discovered that I no longer cared about fighting enemies. I'll leave this world to you. Please, allow me to rest in peace. For a while, at least. I'm sorry, Zero. Oh, so X is like... So he's fought for so long, he just got tired. You know what? Mans deserves it. After all, it's not like X is, the X series is never going to come back because, you know, unless we get a definitive end to that game series and timeline and it will lead to the L4s and Zero, yeah, I doubt we're ever going to get a final game involving X, but at least we know what happens to him once it does. his story does end. So be it. But that's why we are the best partners. I'll do what you want. Rest for a while. I'll handle it. Count on me. I won't stop. When an enemy appears, I'll terminate. Let's go! <laughs> awesome! And that was it. That was Mega Man Zero. Oh man, fuck the Seraph X. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah. I will agree. Yeah, Mega Man Zero. Oh yeah, it's definitely a new chapter in the Mega Man series. It feels like one, and it is great most of the time. Like there were some rough patches, like for example Seraph X, but fuck that guy. As for regular X, like copy X regular. Once you get used to his attack patterns, it's actually kind of easy. But most of the time, it's kind of, it doesn't really explain much how you're going to do this stuff. Like, at first I was assuming there would be no boss weaknesses because of like the fact that you only got like three elements. <laughs> or elements. And then I realized it's tied to the charge. Yeah. But yeah, I think Inti Creates. Yeah, Inti Creates made a hell of a side a sub series for Mega Man. Like... I mean, this series feels so, how do I say it, fresh to Mega Man. It felt darker, it felt grittier. There was something about it that I that's great, and I don't know what it is. It just, like, there's a vibe to it, and I don't know what it is that I like about it. Because, I don't know, like, it has the gameplay of the SNES Mega Man X games, but it has the story of what later Mega Man X tried to do. And <laughs> you can definitely tell this is an Inti Creates game. So, yep. Oh man, it would be so cool if they remade this. Like, they remade all four games into one game because these games are short, don't get me wrong. 
they are short. I mean, you saw my save. Those are like an hour 30 saves if you're like a speedrunner. Or like you don't die at all and are genuinely good at the game. So, yeah. They could definitely combine all of them into like one game. But it would be sick if they were able to continue this series and finally finish off the ZX games. Because, you know, we were left with the, with the third game that was cancelled. It would be amazing if they ever came back to finish it. And I just like, you know, make a good game out of it. But, yeah. Oh man, this game had a wild ride. Like, at first the bosses felt kind of easy, but then once you like, um, got used to their, like, how do I say it? People say that Mega Man Zero is probably the hardest one in the Zero games, like out of the 1, 2, 3, and 4. At least that's what the, that's what the common belief is. I kind of see it, but at the same time, it's more than it's more like just recognizing patterns. Unlike unless you're Copy X, Copy X is literally just RNG. But yeah, like yeah, it is. Ooh, I, yeah, like it. I think it was glad I took that break from Mega Man for a bit because I needed time to process the first half of the collection for PX games. And move on to Zero because, um, like I said, I'm scared of the later half of the Zero game, X games because I know most of them suck except eight. So, um, I'll get done with this series. And if you guys want me to go back to the X, just tell me down in the comments below. See ya. Ha 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 ha!